true of A? Well, any other green point besides A itself, yes? And Z, is that true? Yes, look. So all you have to do, unlike the case of showing something is a limit point, to show something isn't a limit point, you just need to find one ball that misses points of E, all, all the points of E other than this point itself, possibly. Yes, Mary, you happy with that? OK, and is that true here? I mean, I could find this big ball would contain points of E, but to, to say it's not a limit point just means you have to find some ball that doesn't. OK, happy with that definition, Paul, uh, with that statement? Yes. Uh, the, a metric values are always real numbers. Right, but, but for example, in the Boolean case, it's true that in every point of any point, there is no point of E. Oh, excellent. I was gonna just about to ask that. Uh, I, that. That's an example I want people to think about, right? But, but you should think of a metric as, so yeah, so in the discrete metric, in the discrete metric, the possible uh, I mean, the, the distances that you get for any pair of points is 0, 1. But you can talk about a ball of radius 1 half. I, I think that's the question you're, you're asking. And now you, you should try to answer that question. Is in, a, in a discrete space, is everything, what are the limit points? We're, 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 we'll, we'll do that example in a second. Uh, so is everybody happy here that this point is not a limit point because you can separate it by an open ball from g the green. Now, I claim A and Z are slightly different in nature, in character. Even though they're not limit points, A is in the set, whereas Z isn't. Okay, so we have a special name for uh, points that are in the set but not limit points. Because, for instance, D is in the set, but it is a limit point, isn't it? So what do you think we call points that are in the set but not limit points? Uh, it's not called interior. It's called, it's called isolated because it's all by itself. So I'm going to m make a definition just to make sure that we have this stated explicitly. P is an isolated point, E. If uh, this means what? P is in E and P is not a limit point of E. Okay? Everybody happy with that? So, question uh, Are there any other isolated points in my, in my face? The other I. Anything else? Anything else? Form an opinion, please. Anything else? No, very good. What about the set G? Are there isolated points in G of G? Which ones? All of them? One is, I agree. Two is, three is, I mean one third is. Okay. One one millionth is? Yes, because I can find a small enough neighborhood around it that misses one one millionth and one and one over 99999999. Yes? Right? Oh, okay, good. So all the green points are isolated points. Zero is not in the set, so it can't be isolated either. Correct? Okay, good. So uh, example, so here's a definition. So the example here is um, uh, all points of G are isolated. The eyes of B, about to say Texas, um, the eyes of B are isolated too. Okay? Great. Now, let's look at a point. Some of you said D is kind of very different than A. D happens to be a case where what? How is D different from A? Well, yeah, D has the property that if you take a ball around it, that there is a ball around it that 
not just intersects G, uh, the, the, the set B, but the whole neighborhood is inside, isn't it? Right? That's kind of like way on the opposite extreme of being isolated. Yes? So we have a special name for that. Sorry, this is hard to read. Uh, a special name for that is uh, we say that, I'll just do it here, definition. We say P is an interior point. Is that a good name? That's a pretty good name, yeah, for something that's so far inside that there is a ball that contains, uh, that's completely contained in the set. So P is an interior point of E. What does that mean? If there exists a neighborhood N of P such that N is completely contained as a subset of E. I'm just going to box all these definitions because they're useful. OK, let's see. Is that true of this point D? Is it interior? Are there any other interior points in this picture? Not, not labeled, but are there others? Yes, Mary, give me, tell me where the other ones are. All, all these points are interior. Uh, what about the point on the boundary here? No, not interior. What about point right here? They're not even in the set. Okay, so they can't clearly can't be contained. Neighborhood can't have any, can't be completely contained in the set. What about in here? Are there interior points here? Yeah, all these points. They're all interior, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, it, we don't need to add it here because the neighborhood contains p, and we're requiring that n that the that n is completely contained in e. Excellent question. So it doesn't need to be in the definition. Great. OK. Just a little bit of practice here. Help me negate the statement. P is, ooh. That's not my public service announcement, but it's a good thing to do. OK. Help me negate this statement. P is an interior point of E. So what does it mean to not be, to, P is not an interior point means what? See, if you remember this, it'll be very easy to do this. If for every neighborhood of N, N is not completely contained in E. Now, this is an, this is an example where you might want to go a little further. What does it mean for N to not be completely contained in E? There exists a point in N that's not in E, right? Do you see that that is the negation of the statement? This is actually a for all statement, right? For every point of n, that points in e. So we've just flipped an, an, a, the, there exists to a for all, and a for all to there exists. With me? OK, using our little horse logic. Horse logic. All right. Excellent. Uh, let's see, are there any interior points of g? So example. G has no interior points. Okay. Uh, D is an interior point of B. And there are others. That's the example. All right. So um, here's what I'd like you to do now. I'd like you to take a, a minute or two to decide to think about the following examples. So, um, example. Uh, let's look at um, in R. I want you to look at these sets. So consider the the set. Uh, consider the empty set. Consider the whole set. Consider the rationals. And then I want you to do the same thing in R discrete. That is, R with discrete. Consider these same sets. And the question I want you to answer is, what are the uh, 